Welcome to Morning Devotion for St. John's. I'm Vicar Creer. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our reading from James chapter 4, uh, verses 13 through 15. Now listen, you who say, today or tomorrow, we will go to this or that city, spend a year there, carry on business and make money. Why, you do not even know what will happen tomorrow. What is your life? You are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. Instead, you ought to say, if it is the Lord's will, we will live and do this or that. Now, this is the word of the Lord. If it's the Lord's will, we'll do this or that. This is kind of a key phrase for Christians as we, as we plan. We, it's an acknowledgement that we don't really know what's going to happen. If it's the Lord's will that our plan happens the way we think it will, then we, we leave it all in his hands. My life, every feature of it, any future of it depends entirely on God's will. And all of my plans, he is the, the partner. He is the one who, uh, who guides and directs all things. And this is not just in, uh, in our earthly affairs that we say your will be done. This is also for the future. If it's the Lord's will, this is the only kind of planning that is, that is God's pleasing, the kind that, that no matter what we plan, really we're placing it all in his hands. If it's the Lord's will was a, a phrase that maybe used to be more popular and maybe we don't hear it quite as much anymore, um, that in, the, in all of our choices and in, in all of our, our crises, um, it could just be said, the Lord's will be done if it's the Lord's will. And in this, uh, it's because of this verse. In, in the book of James, it suggests that we maybe would, would do well to, to do that. And that doesn't mean that we should just add this cliche to our vocabulary and make sure that we say it uh, every time we say something. I'm going to go to the store if it's the Lord's will. And that doesn't do really any good if it's just a meaningless phrase that I tack on to everything that I say. Um, it's this phrase is not some magic wand that if I if I say it, then then God will be with me, or if I say it, then I will have peace. But it is it is a reminder that that we will live with this thought in mind, this conviction that God has to do every every bit of guiding in our lives, and confidence that whatever His will is for our lives, that it's always right. As you, when you, when you lie awake at night, and when you think about um, all the things that you've that you've got to do tomorrow, and all the problems of right now, does it keep you from from sleeping? What do you do in that moment? Uh, I'll just make a suggestion. That's a great time to to talk to your shepherd. Put all those problems on on him. He's got it all worked out. He knows what's going to happen. And maybe it's not in the way that we want or it's in the way that, that we would choose. But it is in the way that is in accordance with his will. And it's the way that's going to lead us through whatever is coming for us, lead us to heaven. The guidance of the shepherd who died for me is always, always going to be right. And so we can we can pray until until... I come to these problems until I know what to do, until I know how you're going to lead me through it, Lord. I'm going to place this worry in your hands. I'm going to let you be the one uh, that, that guides this. And I won't be afraid. Uh, let's pray. Loving shepherd, take my hand and lead me day by day. Amen. And we join in the Lord's prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look on you with favor and give you peace. Amen.